While I will separately reply to questions on the fair review exercise filed by Mr. Satyandi Supat, Mr. Neil Parekh, and Ms. Poli Sun, I would like to address Mr. Jairo Giam's question about whether this incident and service levels can be taken into consideration in the fair review exercise by the Public Transport Council, or PTC. So I understand why Mr. Giam and some members of the public have made this suggestion. Please allow me to explain why we should separate service levels and disruptions from how we set public transport fares. PTC had previously studied whether fare reviews should be linked to service levels and disruptions and decided not to adopt this approach, as there are other measures in place to ensure service standards are met. For service disruptions, LTA would establish the cost and accountability and meet out penalties where necessary. In addition, where operators do not meet reliability targets, they will also not receive payments under our incentive schemes. The purpose of the annual fare review exercise is to ensure that fares keep pace with changes in operating costs so that the public transport system remains financially sustainable. PTC would consider changes in cost drivers over the previous year based on the fare formula. Given the maximum allowable quantum of increase at 18.9% for this year's exercise due to the 15.6% balance carried over from last year, PTC decided to defer most of the maximum allowable fare quantum for this exercise and raise fares by 6% or less than one third of the maximum quantum to ensure that fares remain affordable for commuters. Fares are collected for the entire public transport system, including buses and trains, to ensure that the public transport system remains financially sustainable. If our fares are not adjusted to reflect rising operating costs, the persistent shortfall would have a chronic impact on service quality and reliability over time. Or if we want to continue topping up the shortfall via government subsidies, it means that taxpayers would have to foot a higher bill. Finally, Mr. Leong Man Wai, Ms. Po Lee San and Mr. Sharu Taha ask how the cost of the disruption will be covered. So regardless of the investigation outcome, SMRT will bear the cost of providing the free bridging buses and regular bus services. The foregone fare revenue during the disruption and the repair works. This requirement applies to both rail operators should they encounter a disruption along their respective lines. As for Mr. Edward Chia's question about compensation for workers, LTA and SMRT staff that worked overtime will be given overtime payment accordingly. <laughs>